what's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be tackling a pretty common issue that you could be having with Valorant. Simply opening up the Valorant launcher, you can see in the bottom right, we couldn't install a required dependency. Please try again, restart your computer or reach out to our player support team. And of course, if you restart your PC, yet you're still getting this error over here, before you reach out to the player support team, there's a very simple thing that you can try to fix this. And that's exactly what this video is. So to begin, the most common solution to this is that the Vanguard anti-cheat service has been disabled. How exactly do we check? Well, simply hit start and then type in service. Click on services. And when this new window over here opens up, simply sort by name, click anywhere on the list, and hit V on your keyboard to jump down to V. We'll be looking for VGC, the Vanguard game, something or other. What you need to do is make sure that it's not disabled and that it currently says running. Otherwise, if it says disabled or it's not running, right click properties and then make sure to change the startup type from disabled to automatic and then click apply and OK after changing the startup type to automatic. Then we can go ahead and close out of that window and try to click update and see if it works properly. If it does, awesome, the Vanguard anti-cheat has now been reset and it works. Though oftentimes you'll see this error over here asking you to restart your system before you're able to play as the Vanguard anti-cheat needs to start up with your computer. So all you have to do from here is restart your computer, reopen the Valorant launch room and simply fire up the game as usual. Of course, the solution for me was the first one I covered in this video. However, if you're still having issues after a full reboot, we can try reinstalling Vanguard. All that we have to do is close out of the Valorant launch room. If you have it open, hit start and then click the settings icon. Then when this window opens up, open up the apps section. And then when the list finally loads, simply search for Vanguard. You'll see Riot Vanguard, click it, click uninstall and uninstall once again. When prompted for admin, hit yes and then hit yes here once again. That will completely uninstall Vanguard and the next time we start up the Valorant launcher, we'll be prompted that it's installing Vanguard. As such, I'll open up Valorant and you'll see it's currently installing Vanguard. Then it'll quickly switch to the screen here asking you to reboot your computer. Cool, so I'll go ahead and close out of this and restart my system. And there we go, after a full reboot, I can go ahead and fire up Valorant once again. And this time you'll see that the play button is now enabled and I'll be able to fire up the game and play it as usual. Now, of course, if you're still having issues and for some reason you're still receiving that error, it did prompt you to originally reach out to their support team using that red bit of text. Clicking it will take you across to a link. So the next thing that you should do from here is click that link and follow through with the official help guides. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, my name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!